Hey guys, it's Jeremy Majors with Majors Academy Dog Training and I had a client, a couple of clients actually want me to create a video on how to stand. Now I'm no uh, competitor or anything, I don't compete in obedience but I do know how to uh, teach the basics of the stand so this is what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to work with Tobias and Little Mama for the very first time. They have never learned stand before, so you'll see how I work things out with them. So the video is not perfect. The video is going to be of me messing up, but uh, I think they end up doing a really good job. And uh, so the things that you will need is a leash, some yummy treats, and a lot of patience. Uh, if your dog at all knows how to sit when you stop moving you are going to struggle for for a while uh, it's really difficult for the dog or it's just gonna take some time for for the dog to realize that uh, you want him to stand as opposed to sitting when you stop because especially if you have treats they're used to sitting right away uh, so have some patience with this one. Now in this video I'm going to be using uh, my praise as my marker. So if you've ever seen uh, clicker training they click whenever the uh, behavior is uh, executed or shown they click right away. So instead of the clicker I'm going to use my voice and uh, like I said you'll see me work things out with it with uh, little mama and Tobias to get the uh, end result of what we want so here we go so I want you to note that uh, in this video I figured it out after I was watching it that when I take one little step forward just enough to get uh, her back legs I mean her front legs for moving and just to, enough for her back legs to just stand up that's when she executes it perfectly I didn't do it there but um, you'll see it in the next few attempts there I still took too many steps and she sat this one right nope not that one that one right there I did not take but maybe inches of steps forward, just enough to get her forward, her forward paws front a little bit, and then her back legs just to rise up. Right there, I still right there took a little bit uh, too many steps forward. I didn't realize uh, what was working at that particular time in training. Too many steps, just enough right there. That one was good. Now I realized what works. See, I'm just inching forward just enough and putting pressure forward too. That's the other thing. The pressure's got to be just enough to get her to move, but not too much to get her to skate a little bit because she might go back into that sit. So just enough pressure to get those back legs up and those forward legs forward maybe two steps right there. Boom. So it looks like each paw takes one step forward. Each of her front paws. So now I'm going to do the stand from uh, frontal sit and you can use that hand or not. I decided not to after this uh, particular attempt. Just got to reload my treats. Also if your dog has a solid state you'll have an easier time to, uh, to execute this uh, particular skill. So 
So even there, even going backwards, the same thing. I took too many steps back, uh, but she executed it well. She didn't even need my help. That was good on my part. Good. You want to step back like you're almost calling her, but then st stopping her right away. So like I said, that stay command should be good. Now I'm giving little mama a little praise. So I want to show you the next day how solid she got it. Even one, we get off leash. Now I'm going to go get Tobias. I'm going to work things out with Tobias. Now Tobias is a little different. He's a lot more excitable than with Mama, so I got to dumb down the praise a little bit because he he loves love. You want to just time it. You have to have perfect timing. If you if you wait too late for that praise marker, then they will they'll scoot up a little bit. But if you say good, and they figure out what you want from them, then they're gonna they're gonna halt after they really figure out what gets them that treat. This is Tobias from the frontal, frontal stand. Frontal stand from a down, a little more difficult in my opinion. See if we can get Tobias to do it off leash. Not bad. Then we give him praise. In conclusion, we are using light leash pressure to get our dogs to move forward ever so slightly. And then we are using our praise as the verbal cue to get them to stop their momentum once they stand up. The moment they stand up, or the second they stand up, then we use our cue, whatever it may be, to get them there, and we give them the treat right away. This process is going to take some time, as the dog has to realize that once the dog is on all four paws and standing still is when they get the treat. So stay consistent and uh, thanks for watching.